Wyek chemistry syllabus. Yeah, you have game plan also here. Yeah. So why chemistry game plan? Uh, this is just against the motion of you just only knowing the why chemistry or topics. That's the topics that you should read for this why chemistry. But you don't really know the number of questions uh, in each section. You don't know the number of marks allocated for this, those questions. You don't know the time also allocated for this very question. And this is just a problem solved. We've solved that in this very video. Just stick to the end. So enjoy every bit of this video. You could also need to check out our chemistry videos on YEC and also some other chemistry topics that we actually treated. So check the description section for the link to those videos and don't forget to subscribe. You just like you know that science subjects would require you to be tested on both the uh, the class part and the practical part. So that's theory, objective, and what practical. So, in this white chemistry, it will be divided into paper 1, paper 2, and paper 3. So, for the advantage of those that are doing, the uh, like, they are private candidate students. Uh, if, you know, if you want to know more about the difference between private candidate and, the, um, and school candidates, you can check the top right corner of this very video. Private candidates and school candidates. So, private candidates would be required to take paper 3 instead of paper 1. But paper 1 and paper 3... We'll be talking about practical. So the practical aspect now, you should understand that it will be twenty-five percent of the total grade, um, two hours, and also you have fifty marks for just three questions. So those those three questions will be uh, uh, they will be compulsory. So you need to just see them and do it. Not that you pick part of those questions. No, you must do all correctly. We also have. The next one that's uh, paper two, no paper one and paper three. They've done it. So paper two now would be on both theory and objective. So yeah, collectively, the paper two, which is a comprising of theory and objective, will be seventy five percent, and you also have that to be done in just three hours, with what with total mark of one fifty marks. Then if you want to divide them, you know we have objective and theory, right? So objective would carry fifty. Uh, would have 50 questions for 50 marks for just 25%. That is telling you that one mark for one question and uh, it will, each question would amount to something like 0.5% of your total grade in just 60 minutes. Why? We are talking about uh, the theory aspect. You have um, section A, section B, and section C. So the theory aspect that has this A, B, C, you should know that what? Section A will be for just uh, for everybody. That's all candidates. Section B would be for Ghana alone. Why section C would be for Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and Gambia. So um, if you are in Nigeria, you'll be expected to do only A and C. If you are in Ghana, you're expected to do only A and B, just like that. Just understand that in quest in uh, section A, you will see. Four questions, and you'll be required to take only three out of those four questions to give you 75 marks. So that means that each question should be 25 marks. I'm talking about B as well. You have um, you have one question to be taken from two questions. C also the same thing. Oh, I didn't say this. I'm talking about the practical aspects. You'll be tested on three parts. So that's that's the three question, right? Three complexity questions I was talking about the other time. So the first one will test you on uh, quantitative analysis. Yeah, it's just the normal acid base titration that you know. And uh, so on this, you should know the concentration, the molar mass, the uh, solubility, and also the period, uh, the percentage purity of acid and bases. So that's just the basic question of that. So the second one I will be talk talking about the qualitative analysis so you need to understand several uh test of the following uh of follow cat cations uh with different maybe dilutes uh naoch uh there's a you, should, you need to you need to know about aluminium three plus zinc two plus pb2 plus and the likes so you should know the confirmatory test as well and different things on just to know about qualitative analysis so i'm talking about qualitative analysis that's the what the test to know the quality of that very uh, substance of that very chemical 
I'm talking about quantitative. Quantitative is just talking about the quantity, the test on the quantity. And also, I'm talking about the, the third aspect, that's the general skills that you should understand and the principles of chemistry. So, I think now that listing, is so. Now listing, now listing, now listing. And also, parents will be like, ah, I'm a private candidate now. I'm not registering with a school. Actually, your own is covered. It is just only school candidate students that would need the continuous assessment part. But if you're a private candidate, then it is 100% for you. You can, if you need more videos on chemistry, don't forget to check the playlist below. And um, don't forget to click the red subscribe button and the notification bell. I will see you in the next video.